Hello everyone, welcome back to the AZ and Basic Mathematics channel. Our today's topic is subtracting fractions with different denominators. Let's start with question one. We have two third minus one quarter. So we don't have a same denominator, we have a different denominator, so we take a common factor by multiplying 3 by 4 to get 12, and 12 is a common factor for 3 and 4. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. We move along the minus signs over, do the same thing for the second fraction, 12 divided by 4 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, and 8 minus 3 is 5, we move along the 12 as it is. So our solution is 5 over 12. Moving on to question two, we got three fifths minus one third. Again, we, we have uh, different denominators, so what we have to do, we have to multiply five by three to get 15, and 15 is a common factor for five and three. So 15 divided by five is three, three times three is nine. We move along the minus signs, do the same thing for the second fraction. 15 divided by three is five, five times one is five. So 9 minus 5 is 4, move along 15 as it is. So our solution is 4 over 15. Moving on to question 3, we have 2 quarter minus 1 third. Again, we have a different denominators, so we multiply 4 by 3 to get 12. 12 is the factors now for 4 and 3. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. We move along the minus signs, do the same thing for the second fraction. 12 divided by 3 is 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 6 minus 4 is 2, we move along the 12 as it is, now 12, uh, 2 and 12 is divisible by 2, 2 goes into 2 once, and 12 goes into 2 6 times. So our solution is 1 over 6. Let's move on to question 4. We have 4 sixths minus 1 fifth. We have a different denominator, so what we have to do is have to times 6 by 5 to get 30. 30 is a common factor for 6 and 5 now. So 30 divided by 6 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. We move along the minus signs. We do the same thing for the second fraction. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. So 20 minus 6 is 14. We move along the 30 as it is. Now, top and bottom is divisible by 2. So, 14 goes into 2 7 times, and 30 goes into 2 15 times. So, our solution is 7 over 15. Moving on to question 5. We've got 2 third minus a half. Again, we have a different denominators. So what we have to do, we have to uh, times 3 by 2 to get 6. It's the common factors now for 3 and 2. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. We move along the minus signs. Do the same thing for the second fraction. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. Move along the 6 as it is. So our solution is 1 over 6. Moving on to question 6. We got 3 quarter minus 4 over 7. Again, we have a different denominator. We, we times 4 by 7 to get 28. 28 is a common factor for 4 and 7. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7 times 3 is 21. If we move along the minus times, do the same thing for the second fraction. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. And 21 minus 16 is 5. We move along 28 as it is. So our solution is 5 over 28. Moving on to question 7, we have a 2 third minus 3 over 6. So again, we have a different denominators, but, but 6 is a common factor for 6 and 3. So 6 is divisible by 6 and 3. So we take 6 as a common factors. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. We move along the minus signs, do the same thing for the second fraction, 6 divided by 6 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. 
So 4 minus 3 is 1. Move along the 6 as it is. So our solution is 1 over 6. Moving on to question 8. We have 5 over 6 minus 2 over 4 or 2 quarter. Now we have uh, different denominators. So what do we have to do? We have to times 6 by 4 to get 24. 24 is a common factor for 6 and 4. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. We move along the minus signs. Do the same thing for the second fraction. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So 20 minus 12 is 8. We move along 28 as it is. Now top and bottom is divisible by 8. So 8 goes into 8 once. And 24 goes into 8 three times. So our solution is 1, or 1 over 3 or 1 third. Moving on to question 9. We've got 6 over 7 minus 2 third. Again, we have a different denominator, so what we have to do, we have to times 7 by 3 to get 21. 21 is a common factor for 7 and 3 now. So 21 divided by 7 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. If we move along the minus signs and do the same thing for the second fractions. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. So 18 minus 14 is 4. If you move along the 21 as it is, so our solution is 4 over 21. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.